African presidents. Their rule is long, their age high. Old men lead the world's youngest continent and they don't plan to leave. While the average age of an African is 19 and a half years, the average age of an African president is 62. Many presidents have been in power for over 30 years. Some even have had the constitution changed to allow this. They often overstay their welcome, no matter the collateral cost. 77 percenters in Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon and Uganda have known only one president. But how to make them leave? East Africa, Uganda. Yoweri Museveni became president in 1986. 35 years later, he's still there. Just this year, Museveni was re-elected amid allegations of fraud and impeding young contender Bobby Wine. And that I will preserve, protect and defend the constitution. But is that so? In 2005, Museveni convinced parliament to remove term limits from the constitution. In 2017, he had parliament scrap the 75 years age limit for presidential candidates just so the 77-year-old could run for office again. But young Ugandans are not happy. We've grown up on Museveni's uh, regime. I was born in 1980. 1980, it is too long for our president to be there. West Africa, the Gambia. Current president Adama Barrow's first term in office was supposed to have lasted three years, but he has already prolonged his presidency by two years, causing nationwide protests. The Gambia is still recovering from the rule of former dictator Yaya Jame. Jame ruled for 22 years, repeatedly being re-elected under questionable circumstances. He is accused of human rights violations and killing political opponents during his reign. 2016, he refused to step down after officially losing an election. But the youth was ready to fight. We need to come out and defend our vote. We need to come out and defend this revolution. Listening to what the people want, a first step to peaceful power transition? What else does it take? Clinging to power is tempting. Money, bodyguards, private jets, followers. Some presidents are simply drunk on power. Others fear revenge from their successes. Some change the constitution in their favor. Others oppress the opposition and critics. According to the Africa Center of Strategic Studies, the ingredients for a peaceful power transition include trust in electoral institutions, communication and transparency between politicians and the public, and preventing political tensions from escalating. But most importantly, fulfilling the promise of protecting the constitution.